don't hurt them. But anything beyond that at this point, it's just continues to end the game. Yeah, it's end the game. Mike, is this, when, when it, even when you're a really good team, when the trade deadline comes around, is that unsettling at all for players or their professionals? And they just, yeah, I think they're used to it. I mean, it's 99.9% just .9 smoke and mirrors, but yeah, it's still unsettling, I guess, you know, certain, to a certain extent, but I think they're used to it. Do you have to say anything to anybody, or do you just let it go? No, because I don't know. So mm -hmm. if I say no, is he, you lying? Or, you know, it's like, <laughs> so uh, just whatever happens, happens. That's Daryl's and their group, and uh, um, normally nothing happens. As much as you like the way it's looked with the small ball, could you imagine going a season the rest of the year, six, six and under, Wait six, minute, seven and under? Yeah, I just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you can. I, I mean, What's the best lineup uh, in the last five years, six, six years? Oh, the death lineup? Yeah. Ray Monkley and Green at six, 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 five at center. And now they did have Durant at seven feet or six, eleven, whatever. That's it. So, you know, if we can find Durant out there, somebody like that, <laughs> you know, we'll be fine. But so, yeah, to answer your question, yes. Will that probably happen? No. Oh, sorry. Probably won't happen because we won't, won't, you know, Clint will be back and then we'll go normal and play, play small soft. So it's uh, probably not a relevant question. But right now, if we can get that lineup really good, then, yeah, it, it can help us move forward. Is Clint doing any kind of work right now specifically with, with, with us, you know, on the yeah, floor at all? He's working State Road. He's out there paving and stuff. <laughs> I don't know he's doing work. Sure he is. He's getting treatments. Well, I mean, I know he's getting treatments. Yeah, well, you so, can't run on You can't, run, you can't do really so, any work. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to ask, though, you kind of touched on it. If they get good at playing without a big, will, you think it will help when he does come back? Oh, yeah, for sure. Because it's got to be a lineup that when Clint goes out that we can, you know, get more, you know, spread it. So I can give a different look and maybe the bigs aren't working. So you go small, maybe the smalls aren't working, you go big. So yeah, it gives you an extra weapon. What is the uh, status with Russell's thumb? Uh, I think they're listening to Alpha. So we don't know, we'll, he'll probably come tomorrow and see if it's responded or still bad. What is, what is the injury? Uh, just sprained it, I guess, or, you know, just got a bit bad. So he's doubtful tomorrow. That's what they missed him, yes. Uh, Eric, I'm sorry. Austin Does, would start. Don't know that. That's a good question, though. <laughs> he might come up again. <laughs> More. He could, but Ben could start. We'll see. Uh, you know, <clears throat> Ben's shooting since really the end of November among the best three point shooting in the league. For a guy, I mean, you get hot for a little while, but now at this point, is this what you kind of figure? This is who he is. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, I don't see why not. He's got a great shot, and uh, as long as he keeps taking good shots, uh, there's no reason why he doesn't continue at a good pace. Now, whether it settles down a little bit, I don't know. I'm sure he'll go through a stretch where, you know, it'll be a little this and that, but uh, he's taking great shots. He's active. He's, he's playing really well right now. Is it a boost to have someone like him coming off the bench? Yeah, for sure. After we lost Gerald Green, he was kind of the guy that could do that, and Ben is a quick shooter like Gerald. And, yeah, it gives us that ability to make shots and, you know, two seconds on the shot clock or whatever. He can always get a shot off. For a guy who's kind of kicked around a little in the league, to get through a rough patch, even though know, his rough patch was about two games, three games, but to get through it and then still be the same and confident, is that a step needed more than just getting a good start to the season or filling a hole? Yeah, I think he just feels that the guys on the team and coaching staff has a lot of belief in him and trust him. And and so you will make mistakes. You will have periods in one game where you made a couple bad mistakes, but I think everybody, the support's there and we got belief in him. And yeah, I mean, and then, you know, you have to believe himself. And I think he's doing that. How do you feel with your team is navigating through all the injuries? Because you've had a number of things this year again. Very good. I mean, we can play better. Uh, you know, it seems like we've had a little uptick up kick here of late and play a little bit better. So it's, uh, it's good. It's a long season. And we've still got a lot of games left, a lot of things to be solved. And, you know, the story will be tell, told. But uh, we're not in a bad spot right now. In the past, when Clint was out, you would always play a center. Right. Um, what is it about this group that made you go decide to just stick small? Well, the minutes? biggest thing is Russell. Uh, how can we get uh, what he does best, and that's get to the rim. How can we capitalize that on 100%? And, uh, you know, sometimes you're afraid to try it. Uh, 
when you have bigs and Clint's around and what it was just kind of afraid to and then actually the Utah game so hey, why not let's try it let's look at it and see what it looks like now he wasn't in there at the time but then you can imagine with him being in there what it would have looked like and, uh, we just have a unique team that different and you know some people might say it's gimmicky or whatever which I you know it's not gimmicky it's uh, it's it's uh, it's doable and you know I think we'll get better at it and we'll get better defensively and you know, we just have to watch the second chance points. And, you know, and that's one of the things. Be sure you guys, when you criticize it, don't, don't say they get out rebound by 25. That has, that's not a stat, a stat that even matters. So if they say now they scored eight more second chance points, okay. They scored eight more. You know, I get that, but not, not you know, I was listening to some commentary like, oh, they've got 26 more rebounds. So, I mean, you could have 25 offensive rebounds in one possession and score two points. That doesn't hurt. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. Is this the way to look at it? Is that you're just going to play your best eight guys? Well, that's one way to look at it, but it also has to work. I mean, you, you still have to have a puzzle. You could have a piece that you just have to have. But we, we're unique. Uh, Eric can guard centers really well. Uh, James guard centers probably better than anybody. Uh, PJ can guard centers and bigs and littles. And, you know, we just have a very – and Russell's athletic enough to guard anybody. So it's a, it's a different type of lineup. Uh, I get it. We're small. I get it. Uh, but if we can box out and it, offensively, we turn the ball much less. We get to the end much better. We get more open shots. So you have to balance the two. And right now, it's working. Thank you.